the ladies question ladies would a man's body count matter if so why does the man's body count matter and if so why yeah like the woman in me let's be quick on this answer, i'm gonna be reality i'm gonna say mm-hmm. i'm gonna have to say no and that's reality because no, at the end of the day but how many men you gonna come across that got two bodies okay i got, I got 13 I'm 90 percent of them well, actually. but i'm saying like how many how <laughs> many will them. come with two bodies Your face was funny when well I most of that. most of them do come with really low bodies but the guys that y'all want the non five six guys you know like it's like the, like like the tall guys or whatever yeah it's like high. they're gonna have bodies. but no you're very base you understand yeah. just accept uh, the fucking truth yeah what about you <laughs> yeah. uh like uh, would I, you accept a man with a high body count if so why yeah honestly yeah i mean i've dealt with a man that has a high body count and he's like been around the world and he still like talked to me tell me i was still showing still another to come one to me. So. <laughs> yeah. so i feel like it don't matter yeah. what about you? um me personally no it doesn't matter i was at a point where it did but that was just me being younger because i i came with a low body count but realistically, like now, I, now I you probably can't say had, shit, huh? no, that's not what I'm saying. No, Body count still not, not high, but I'm older. I know niggas. I would, I you would know, not, niggas go yeah, yeah. I, I had a body count of two, and my nigga was already at twenty five. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> realistically, y'all coming with forty off back. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Whatever happened before me, that's important. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You don't care about man's history. I don't care about nobody that you live with. As long as if we are in the same vicinity and y'all are you talking to her, let me know. That's all. Oh, say less. <laughs> what about you? Uh, no, it doesn't matter. As long as mine doesn't matter as well. I just feel like what's happening now is what it's is a double important. standard, right? Yeah, like it yeah. shouldn't be a dumber standard. If I don't care, then you don't need to care. Okay. What about you? Yeah, I. I I don't care. So. You don't care? Yeah, as long as you okay. clean so and that, get tested right. regularly. Oh, make me I, I at least once a yeah, month. I got to yeah. go back to what she said, though. So, like, uh, can the guy care about your body count? We'll start with you. Oh, my God. I mean, I've only had <laughs> That's sex a good with question. one person, and he's so, my husband. Yeah, so. Oh, wow. Probably, yeah. Yeah. See, that was the goal. You are a Because I'm not going to lie. That's the goal, but. I told y'all she's the interview. All right, guys. One, 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 one mic now, but congratulations. No, well, so, so does it matter? Should it matter for me? Go yeah. Somebody. Else. No. Should it, it matter for women? No. Mm-hmm, absolutely not. Should it matter for women? Don't ask me my body count because I'm not. Gonna she belongs tell you. to the streets. There's does, no point for me to know. No, because I ain't telling your ass. <laughs> no, but, but I'm just. I, I just want to know in general. But he asked does the it question. Matter. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Like in general for niggas, no, it, honestly. No, it really I'm talking do. about for women. Does, does it matter for y'all's body count? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, for, like for niggas caring about it, like, it, yeah. like they, they care. It, yeah. it matters because yeah. that's how you can tell if if a girl a hoe or not. That realistically, that's what that is. Okay, what do you think? Hey, one mic, one mic. Matter. Here, one mic, guys. Hey, one mic, guys. Um, I say it's fifty fifty. Some guys care about it. Some it should don't. Okay. Um, but uh, me personally, um. I don't care. As long as it's like you clean, we good. We good. Okay. I say it matters to different types of men and what yeah. they get in their life. Okay. Yeah. So, ladies, uh, I, I, I'm going to tell you. You'll learn what a long dick look like today. Some men don't I, even I, ask. I, I'm going to tell question. y'all straight up. Every yeah. guy fucking cares. Every guy cares, they but this is the be. difference. This is the difference. The guys that don't tell you they fucking care, they're probably either a simp that hasn't had a lot of sex or something, and they're just happy to get whatever the fuck they can get, so they're never going to give a fuck about your body <laughs> count because they're just lucky to get it, or the guy who's just not going to say anything to you about it, and he's going to keep you in the fuck-only category. He's going to keep fucking you, even though he knows that you got 50 bodies or whatever, and he's never going to make you a relationship girl. He's never going to marry you. He's never going to take you seriously, but you'll always be in that category. So it does fucking matter. Guys really yeah, give a fuck care. about sex. That's and why we just Once lie. again, we lie to y'all. That's y'all why we know. lie to y'all. Y'all, I don't y'all, think no, no one has ever yeah, you, told you, me. Yeah, you better. I, I, yeah. I dare, I, yeah, you better Cause fucking even, lie because you even don't. Even to a guy, bad. even if my body counts five, like to See, him, that could be high as you, hell. You know what's crazy like, though? You know what's crazy though? You can lie about it, but your actions. What you do, what you and post, your everything about you <laughs> tells volumes about the type of girl that you are. And guess what? I have a ton of friends that are beautiful fucking women. I'm talking fucking tens. And they and they have fucking under three bodies or under two bodies. Nobody would ever know. But because of what they post on their Instagram, yeah. but because of where they work, but because of what they do, everybody's going to instantly judge them. You're always going to be judged like a book. You're always yeah. going to be judged by the cover. So if you want to like actually leverage yourself to get the really good guys, you got to care about some of this fucking shit. Mm-hmm. But once again, we're going to lie to y'all and say that we don't give a fuck about it. So we can keep fucking. I'm going to say this. I don't even dispose I'm going to say this. 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 I'm gonna say this. When it comes to, because I have extreme, I have extreme understanding. And all I need to know is your why. 
Um, women that went through no traumatic experience, women and men, that went through, and I, when I say traumatic experience, I mean rape, sexual assault, things of that sort. They were able to step within a pleasing flesh on their own. Versus someone that was raped or sexual assault at a very grape, young grape. age. Yeah, sex yeah. was say, Yeah, say grape if you can. Got grape. 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 Grape, yeah. grape, 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 grape. Yeah. Okay. Versus someone that, that was introduced to someone at a young age. Now they are with this confusion of feeling of regardless on how grape was introduced to you, it's the pleasing of the flesh. And it is very hard to differentiate. So from where, and I'm going to be honest, I experienced grape a couple of times and i had to be honest my partner was the first man i had to be honest with i went through a confusion time period where i, I call it sex demons let's be real great yeah, demons. let's be real yeah. let's be real with it you're going through a a a a the flesh is too pleasing for you so you have no controlling of it and so you know my body count may not be at two but it's because of the trauma that I went through. I had to figure that out on my own. So it do it men do care, but if they care about you, they're gonna want to know your why. And when they know your why, they will come with either us. understanding. Yeah, that's, and that's if they don't have no understanding, they 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 gotta get with you. You can't judge a book by a couple, but you gotta be real about your yeah, story. Man, you gotta at least respect the the fact the man enough to be honest I with them. It. And there's a lot yes. of women though that will go through certain things and they're not even ever Living honest about truth. it. And you have to be honest about it, or else it's not gonna happen. And like Here's the thing. I hate saying these things. Like I like I like women hate hearing the fucking the body count shit, okay? But this all goes back to once again evolutionary biology. Mm -hmm. We didn't know if the kid was ours for <laughs> thousands of years. Not there was no real. test for that shit. <laughs> so the re you want to know why we give a fuck about your sexual loyalty and we care about a woman with low body count? It's checking the car facts. Mm -hmm. It's making sure that that person isn't going to fuck up later on. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. Trauma for men or men that go through a lot of bias or do a lot of stuff, that shit is actually sexy. Guys with scars is sexy. A woman with scars, a woman that's gone through trauma, a woman that's gone through a lot They're of bodies, scared. it's not sexy. Yeah. It's not. It's the opposite. And it's a, it's a really shitty thing about reality, but it's a that's double standard that we have that's to live with. But it takes a real Hey, hey, hey. Reality, reality is sexist, reality. and reality has double yeah. standards everywhere. There, women yeah. can go get on a yacht in Miami right now at 18, and I can't. I'd have to buy it. Okay, there's a there's a lot of things that women get as privileges that men don't get. So you like we just have to accept those things and be like, all right, like I don't get to skip the line at the club. Like I don't get. I don't like with the right man. Sorry. Scars on a woman is sexy as it is on a man with the right I man. Yeah. I can't say that. Yeah. I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't say that. Let me let, let me go real quick. Well, no, just this is real, real quick. Now I'm gonna get some shit about this, but I'm a realist. I'm not no. I can't say that. See, a lot of these guys on YouTube are fucking virgin, and they've been getting pussy for two years and shit. I've been getting pussy since 1995, so I have a different perception of things. Whoa. Damn. Bang, yeah. bang, bang. Whoa! Damn. A lot of y'all was born. I was having three subs and all that shit. No, but seriously, like for me and a lot of you guys, are gonna be like, ooh, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I'm realistic because I know women for reals. I say if you like 25 or under, you cool. Now that sounds like a lot, but yeah. you realistic, like bro. If I'm these 40, days, that's normal. Yeah, if, I'm, <laughs> Sergio, if I'm 40 plus and I meet a chick that's my age and oh, she's been fucking percent, since yeah. she's like 15. How could you I expect her to be, be at if she ain't married? If she had never been married, how could I expect her to yeah. be like, oh, I had seven bodies? Like, how the fuck you had seven bodies since 1996? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So I'm realistic. So I know I know for like young cats that's like 21 listening to this shit, I'm in my forties. So a young cats that's 25 be like, oh hell, he's capping. No, I'm just saying, like, realistically, if I meet a chick that's like 30 and up, and, and she had 25. Like, that's not, like, crazy to me because it's like. If you do the you math, make, it's not that bad, Yeah, actually. if you have, like, three a year for 10 yeah, years, that's, that's what it would 30. Come out to, yeah, So, but dudes would be like, oh, hell no, she for the streets. Not really, yeah. bro. Like, and women. I, I hey, y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, 
click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.